On today's show, we can take a look at creating a great little side dish that goes with just about anything that comes off the grill. Steaks, uh, uh, ribs, pork, chicken, hot dogs, burgers, heck yeah, but you know what? It also goes well with fried chicken, fried fish, heck yeah, what am I talking about? I'm talking about right here, pork and beans, or you may know them as baked beans. I call them Murray beans. <laughs> Welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. Hey, we've got everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and get started on our Murray beans right now. Go ahead and get started on our Murray beans or our pork and beans. I mean, very, very, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ingredients. Very simple. Start out right here with some bacon. I got, I think it's four slices. So that's about four ounces and kind of got it diced up into nice little bite sized pieces. I got a, a sweet onion right here, kind of, again, also kind of just roughly chopped. We've got some ketchup right here. That's a half a cup of ketchup. I had to think for a second. It's a third cup of Worcestershire sauce. And we've got some a tablespoon of pepper, coarse ground pepper, and also a tablespoon of some kosher salt. And then right here, we have ourselves in between, we'll go with this, seven eighths cup of <laughs> loosely packed uh, brown sugar. Actually, it's between three quarters and, uh, and a cup. Anyway. That's it. That's, oh, 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 yeah. Forgot about these guys right here. Now, in no way am I affiliated or sponsored by Van Camp, but these are the ones that I just, I like to use, and they're pork and beans. So, in other words, they really haven't been doctored at all. You do see a lot of commercials where they got these so-called baked beans. Baked beans, I think they, uh, you know, I'm not really sure, but I'm assuming they're doing to them what we're getting ready to do. But these are just plain little pork and beans in uh, right here it's in tomato sauce and I think it's got a little piece of fat in there anyway we'll figure that out when we get to it now we've got a pot over medium heat generally I like to add about a I don't know a tablespoon or so or an ounce of like bacon fat to this I don't have any bacon fat I've used it all up but anyway that's just a little bit of uh, vegetable oil right oil right there and I like to do that kind of kind of get the uh Get the pan ready for my bacon and we're going to come in and we're just going to add our bacon just like so and off with our wooden spoon and we're just going to cook this down for about four to five minutes i want to get it nice and crispy oh man i tell you what that is looking good coming along well been at it for uh, about three and a half, maybe four minutes. That's getting where we where we want it. But we're gonna come in right now. We're gonna add our onion, just like so. And now we're gonna cook this down to the uh, what are we gonna call it? the 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 transparent stage. In other words, we're gonna cook it just like this for probably another two and a half to three minutes. Oh man, I tell you what, that is looking good. That's kind of sort of the the translucent stage we were looking for, man. Oh wow, check that out right there. Check that out, wow, that is just goodness. Oh, you know what, how about a little bit of uh, a toasted French bread, some butter, and just kind of sort of pile that right on top. Oh man, <laughs> just joking, <laughs> uh, maybe, no. <laughs> so anyway, we've been at this for about seven minutes. Now we're gonna come in and it's time. Um, well, we move you right here. Miraculously, and through the luxury of editing, the top is now off. <laughs> of our pork and beans off we go just like that now one thing i would recommend with your canned beans is before you open it shake it real good try to get everything uh kind of sort of moving just like that and i think we are heck yeah how about that right there <laughs> nice and uh empty off we go to the trash can now let's see come back with our spoon just like that I'm going to turn this down to about medium and we're going to start combining the beans with our oh gee our nice little bacon and onions just like that okay yes sir everything is nice and mixed here we go we're going to now add the rest of what we have here 
and we'll be almost done. Here goes the brown sugar. Voila. Just like that. Our salt and pepper. Boom. Now I'm going to come in with our Worcestershire. Just like so. Now I'm going to come in with our ketchup. And off we go. Voila. Heck yeah. Like I said, that was a, um, that was a, uh, I think I said a 7 8 <laughs> cup of loosely packed um, uh, brown sugar, you know, between three quarters and a cup, whatever, whatever you feel like doing. Then we had a half a cup of, um, of ketchup, a third cup of Worcestershire. We had a tablespoon each of coarse black pepper and kosher salt. And that's it. That is our Murray beans. Simple and I wouldn't say quick, but very, very simple. Now we're going to come in and we're just going to mix everything together. Let's get that nice dark reddish brown uh, color that just lets you know that everything's going to be good. Yes, sir. -y. Heck yeah. So here we go. Just like that. Heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah, man. I tell you what. There we go. We are now about 15 minutes away from being able to taste our Murray beans. I'm going to I'm going to simmer these on medium low, I guess, for 15 minutes and then uh, that will allow all those flavors to kind of sort of come together and they're going to be unbelievable. Oh man, I tell you, check those things out right there. Oh my word, look at that. Oh, the smells unbelievable. Real quick, before we get plating away, there's a lot of sugar. Well, the sugar, <laughs> there's sugar in here, obviously. And we need to uh, make sure that they don't stick to the bottom. If they do stick to the bottom, guess what? They're gonna burn and then you might as well throw them away because you'll never get that burnt taste or that flavor out of them so you know we were at it for about 15 minutes and i, I kind of sort of came in here and and stirred them around for you know like every five minutes or so right now i've got it on low i had it on um two we well, got low two four six eight and then high i had it on two and it was working good nice nice little simmer uh you know what i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off so i don't <laughs> forget about it and burn them but i tell you what let's go ahead and dish these things up. I'm gonna put them in this nice little bowl we've got right here and it'll fit perfect on a plate. So let's come in here and grab ourselves. Heck yeah. Check those things. Oh look at all that. It was that bacon and that onion. Oh man that is gonna be delicious. Heck yeah just like that. Tell you what. Oh yes. <laughs> that is delicious. Check those things out. Those were homemade pork and beans baked beans what do you call murray beans is what i call it but hey wait a minute check this out through the magic <laughs> of editing and everything boom check it out we've got that paired up with a beautiful grilled ribeye steak that we kind of rub down with our steak pluff mud rub unbelievable but man check that thing out right there that is going to be so good and for the recipe, if you want the recipe, and I hope you all do, check out the description down below. But I tell you what we are going to do. Let me, hey, there we go. Magically, we have a little fork right here. I'm going to give these a true taste. Now, you got to be careful. These, <laughs> these beans will hold their heat. Come in here. Let's see. Get, let's go right here. Mmm. Man, you get, oh, that, <laughs> that is delicious. Obviously, you get the, the sweetness from the brown sugar and the ketchup. And you get that little, that little pop from the Worcestershire sauce. Unbelievable bacon. Hey, what, else? <laughs> what can you say about that? But I tell you what, again, check out the description down below for the recipe. Hey, right over here, we talked about a steak. How about a home 45-day dry-age ribeye on the grill? And hey, right, right there. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. It all does help. And until next time, God bless, and we'll see y'all soon.